to the front of the bike now, and this is, we're going to talk about the arm pads, and we're going to talk about the hand position. You'll see here, you know, Steve's arm or shoulder and his elbows, they're pretty much in line. Okay, this is a nice fulcrum point. These pads should be called, in my opinion, elbow pads, because that's really what you want to have on the pad. And typically they're called arm pads. And what I see a lot of is people riding here. They get neck pain, they get shoulder pain because they're not well supported. And they generally do this because of the length of the extension. Everyone will default to the length of the extension. So if you've got very short extensions, you're going to put your hand at the end of them, particularly if that's where your gears are, and then you don't have your elbow on the pad. So make sure that number one, your elbow is on the pad, that your extensions are taken out so your hands are relaxed over the front of the extensions. I personally like to see, we've got a ski bend here. This is nice as an anchor point, so you're over the bike, you're in an aggressive position, so your back angles down, the hands are, are across those extensions to stop you from falling off the front of the bike because again, we're over the bike and we want to be relaxed. There are the hands. And again, hands higher than elbows. I want to see the hands up here and the elbow down here so that when we're riding along, the wind is always going to hit the hands, but there's no drag here through the forearm. Drink bottle in here, a standard drink bottle. This is the most aerodynamic way to carry a bottle and it actually makes the bike faster. So putting a bottle in here closes up the turbulence behind the hands and it will save you about four and a half watts. So over the course of an Ironman, that's a couple of minutes, simply by putting a bottle in here and having your hands higher than your elbows. You can just put a standard um, drink cage in there and, and, and cable tie it. Cable tie a standard drink cage in there. Or there are drink systems from Profile or from Xlab, a number of manufacturers that allow you to sit a bottle in there. and just. Steve, you just pull the bottle out and drink. So, yeah. <laughs>